Welcome back everybody. In this session, we're going to look at the snake effect. So I've just created this geometric shape for us to work on. And the way I've done it is just by using the triangle quad and just pulling these together just to create something that I think will look really good and also will give us a good impression about the snake effect. And you can see I can turn each one off individually um, should I want to use them or not, for example. Okay, so here's my shape. And we're just going to jump over down to the bottom. And there we go, to the middle, to the snake effect. And we're going to activate that effect. I'm going to look at the color there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing. And I'm just going to trace the path that I want my snake effect to take. So if I just go like this, we do a really simple one for now. And I just let go of my mouse there. And as you notice, it asked me to validate the path. So that is now validated as an animation path. So I can just... Um, play with this a little bit. Let me give it a color. And as you can see already now, that snake path is activated. So that's a really great tool for creating moving animations um, when you're projection mapping onto different surfaces. And again, if I click different effects, you'll notice that that snake effect is still in activation. So it's still doing the effect regardless of the other effects that I add on top of it to layer it and make it much more interesting. So guys, that's a really simple introduction to the snake effect. I really look forward to see what you are going to create and to see how you can make this effect really work for you. Please do send me your stuff. Please do connect with me online. Also, if you've got time and you're interested in projection mapping, do check out my other courses using other projection mapping software on this platform. I really love doing these courses and I really value your feedback. So please do get in touch. All right then guys, have fun with this snake effect and I will see you in the next session.